Hello there, you're just in time. I'm looking for a group of P-shaped endocrine glands, but I'm not quite sure where to find them. Yikes, not down there. Let's try a bit higher up, shall we? Okay, yes, we need to focus on the more superior part of the body. You got it, it's in the neck. Next clue, it helps to regulate calcium levels in the blood. Well, that's technically correct. The thyroid gland does produce hormones that regulate blood calcium levels, but that's not what we're looking for. The tiny endocrine glands that we're on the hunt for here are on the back of the thyroid gland, the parathyroid glands. Let's find out what they're really made of now as we explore the histology of the parathyroid glands. Before we get started, here's a quick overview of what we'll cover today. We'll begin by looking at the macroscopic features of the parathyroid glands to remind ourselves about the anatomy without a microscope. We'll then dive into the good stuff and cover the histological features, including the vasculature found in the parathyroid glands and cells that make up the glands parenchyma. Finally, we'll wrap up the tutorial by looking at some clinical notes related to the glands. First up, however, a few quick facts about the gross anatomy of the parathyroid gland. So the parathyroid glands are small ovoid structures, which are part of the endocrine system and are found on the posterior aspect of the thyroid gland. There are usually four, two superior and two inferior glands, or two left and two right glands, whichever way you prefer to look at it. Specific cells within this gland produce a hormone which is conveniently known as parathyroid hormone, or PTH. This plays a role in regulating blood calcium levels. More specifically, when parathyroid cells detect a fall in calcium levels in our blood, the parathyroid glands synthesize and secrete PTH, which basically causes bones to release calcium into the blood. The antagonist to this hormone is calcitonin, which reduces blood serum calcium levels. All right, time to get down to the nitty gritty of what actually makes up the parathyroid gland. Here we go. This is a histological image of the parathyroid gland, and this is the image we'll be focusing on throughout the tutorial. The section has been prepared with hematoxylin and aicin stain, often called the H&E stain. H&E is the most commonly used histological stain due to its simplicity and ability to clearly define the basic morphology of a tissue by staining nuclei and cytoplasm in different colours. The hematoxylin component is applied first and stains the nuclei blue, in addition to parts of the cytoplasm that contain RNA. The sample is then counterstained with aicin, which stains proteins and cytoplasm varying shades of pink. Like many organs, the parathyroid gland is surrounded by a thin, fibrous capsule, which separates from the surrounding tissue of the thyroid gland. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.